Welcome to two examples on how to solve a proportion. A proportion is formed when we set two fractions or ratios equal to each other. Notice in these two examples, one of the ratios also contains a fraction where we can say we have a complex fraction. Also notice that one of the values is unknown, represented by the variable. So to solve the proportion, we're looking for the unknown value that will satisfy the given equation. There are several methods to solve a proportion. For these two examples, we'll use the method of clearing fractions. So to solve a proportion by clearing fractions, step one, we multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator, which is the least common multiple of the two denominators. If we're not able to determine the LCD, it's also okay just to multiply both sides by any common denominator. Step two, we solve the resulting equation. So looking at our first proportion here, notice how we have a denominator of five and a denominator of eight. The least common multiple of five and eight is 40, which means the least common denominator is 40. 40 is the smallest number divisible by both five and eight. So we're going to begin by multiplying both sides by 40. So we have n over five equals eight thirds over eight, and we're going to multiply both sides by 40. Well, if we want 40 over one, For multiplying, we simplify. Notice here we have a common factor of five. There's one five and five and eight fives and 40. So this part is just eight n over one or eight n equals on the right, eight and 40 share a common factor of eight. There's one eight and eight, five eights and 40. So on the right, we just have five times eight thirds, which would be 40 thirds. If we want to see the work, we'd have five or five over one times eight thirds. Multiplying the numerators, we have 40. Multiplying the denominators, we have three. So we have eight n equals 40 thirds. And now we want to solve this equation for n. Eight n means eight times n. So we're probably thinking that we should divide both sides by eight, but because we have a fraction on the right, instead of dividing by eight, we'll multiply by the reciprocal of eight, which would be one over eight. So we'll multiply the left side by 1 8 and the same on the right. Simplifying on the left, notice how this simplifies nicely to 1 times n, or just n. And on the right side, 8 and 40 share a common factor of 8. There's 1 8 and 8, and 5 8 and 40. Notice how here we just have 5 thirds. So our solution is n equals 5 thirds, which we can also express as a mixed number if we wish. 5 thirds means 5 divided by 3. There's 1, 3, and 5. 5 minus 3 is 2, which means the quotient is 1 and 2 thirds. So we could also express our solution as a mixed number. 5 thirds equals 1 and 2 thirds. Just be sure to give the answer in the form requested. The solution as a fraction is 5 thirds. The solution as a mixed number is 1 and 2 thirds. Let's look at our second example. Notice how we have a denominator of n and a denominator of 3 sevenths. n and 3 sevenths don't have any common factors other than one, and therefore the least common denominator, or least common multiple, would be 3 sevenths times n, or 3 sevenths n. So to clear the fractions for step one, we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 3 sevenths n. So we have eight over n, equals four over three sevenths. And we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by three sevenths n. Before multiplying, we'll simplify. Remember, we can think of this n as being in the numerator. And therefore, we have n divided by n, which simplifies to one. So on the left side, we have three sevenths times eight over one, which would be 24 sevenths. Now on the right side, this looks a little bit strange, but this is three sevenths divided by three sevenths, which would simplify to one. So we're left with n times four, which is four n. So we're probably thinking we should divide both sides by four, but again, because we have a fraction on the left, we can think of this as four over one, and therefore, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of four instead of dividing by four. Reciprocal of four would be one-fourth, 
So multiply the right side by one fourth and the left side by one fourth. Looking at the right side first, notice how this simplifies nicely to one times n or n. On the left, before multiplying, we have a common factor of four here. There's one four and four and six fours and 24. So we just have one times six sevenths, which is six sevenths. So our solution is n equals six sevenths. So even though these two proportions contain complex fractions, we can still apply the same technique of clearing the fractions to solve the proportions. I hope you found this helpful.